Welcome guys, this is Edwin and today we have a prototype for you. That's right, this piece is from my brother, Mr. JP, that he allowed me to check it out along with a few more knives that I got in my table. Thanks my friend, we are going to take a look at this one, okay? Now, this guy right here, this is a brand new model that we haven't seen in the production world yet, okay? This is one that is called, originally was called the Cedar Creek Skinner, and then they changed its name to the Bitter Creek. Okay, so that's the name we will go with, but of course, keep in mind that names are always changing, and then if when it gets released to the production world, we might see a different name, okay? Be aware of that. Now, one real cool thing about this model is that Ernest Emerson, Okay, in late 2020, he did a video called The Making of a Prototype. Go and check it out. And in that video, he goes through the whole process of coming up with this design and how the whole process of, of building it and, and, and working on it. Okay, and it's very cool. In that video, you can learn that basically all prototypes are handmade hand fitted pieces by Ernest Emerson himself, like a custom, okay? So very, very cool. And of course, let's look at this piece. We know it's a prototype, at least the modern ones, because you have that label of prototype below that thumb stud, right? And of course, that Emerson spec one knives will tell you that this is a handmade, hand ground piece by Ernest Emerson. Look at that beautiful, beautiful Persian style of blade, right? That aggressive upswept right there. In this case, this blade is a V-grind, meaning that it's ground on that side and then ground on the other side. Just a beauty, okay? And of course, then you have your chisel edge from Emerson Knives. In terms of constructions, you have your normal thumb stud that I love, that wave right there, your finger guard, in that handle, a very, you know, S style of design that is very common with Persians and the classic, classic construction of G10, simple hardware, and my favorite clip, that Emerson style or Benchmade style of, of clip. Very good in the hand, guys. It just feels great, great in the hand, okay? You can see that it just, melts like a glove and man this is a slasher no question about it of course in this case Ernest Emerson originally designed it as a hunting skinner you know that style of knife and of course that curvature right there will help a lot if you protect that tip right there will help a lot on skinning that material right so very very cool definitely will do its job now of course, we should compare it with another style of Persians that we have in the Emerson world. In this case, let's go with the Hatin. This guy, that blade is a four inch blade, just like the Hatin and the Persian. So this is how it compares. And of course, we know that that Hatin has, you know, a more straight style of shot on that blade. So it's more of a thruster, right? It's more of a thrust style of knife instead of that curvature that you have in this bitter creek, okay? But again, both blades, four inch blades, beautiful, beautiful designs. And of course, I need to bring up the Persian right here. And I love the Persian. You can see that classic S curvature in that design. You will notice right away that the bitter creek is a little bit thicker in this dimension and handles. Okay, so that's something to notice between both of them. Both of them are four inch blades and man, both of them are beautiful. I love it. I love that Persian style of design. This is a custom right here. So be aware of that. And again, guys, make sure you check that video because Ernest Emerson goes how he got a letter from a customer asking for a specific need and how he came up with two designs. One of them was that bitter creek, okay? And how he made two of the prototypes and then he sent one of them to the user for testing in the field. So very, very cool. Again, a very smooth, very, very nice. And that upswept 
is very, very appealing to me. So again, the Bitter Creek prototype by Ernest Emerson. I'm hoping we see several customs and that we see it in the future as well as a production. We will see, of course. And guys, if you have any other questions, feel free to jump in on Calo PR on Instagram. Of course, comments right here on YouTube and in caloblaze.com that I have the direct links on the recommendations of the Facebook Echo Group, Facebook Emerson Operators, and USN Forum that we are always hanging out and having a blast in that community. You guys have a great, great day out there. Bye.